What's up guys? I got the lights shining at me. I'm probably looking really pale right now because it's a super bright um, light for this video because these this video is for <coughs> a parachute I've been looking for forever in um, storage that my father had because I remember them as my first pair of Jordans that I ever wore um, when I played basketball back in high school and this was like back in 97 or 98 I think I think it was 98 I graduated in 99 kind of old um, and I remember these are the first pair I didn't want to wear them because they were used my dad wore them to play basketball in so I put I gave them back to my dad and he put them away and for some reason he kept them and I'm really glad he did and didn't throw them away and I just found them today while digging I found actually two pairs of shoes um, but this is the pair of shoes I was looking for the only thing I'm, I'm upset about is that there is no box I know there was no box because my dad probably threw it away as soon as he bought the shoes and um, if you watch any of my other uh, videos you probably know I talk about insoles and that's because growing up that's what I did and then these pair my dad took the insoles out and put different insoles in them as well so they don't even have insoles in these ones <clears throat> without further ado dirty ass OG sevens uh, I really wish I had a better camera to do this review you can see these are really beat and you can barely tell the the purple on the 23 is fading you can see cracking on the midsole heel some minor separation issues here's the bottom of the shoe you see how dirty it is this is just a quick video I'm making before I attempt to clean these up and I'm not I've never restored a pair of shoes before I'm not sure how to restore the uh, new book style material on the toe box you can see it's uh, really worn you can tell where the toes were in them and there's the front of it I'll definitely make a video this is a before video then I'll make an after after I attempt the first minor cleanup with soap water um, baby wipes that kind of thing no sole or no insole you see a tag these is the OG's ones were made in a Korean factory um, they're size 9. I can't even really wear them. I, I tried to squeeze my feet into these, but they didn't fit. There's a jump man. And here is the other pair. You can see the tongues are different. Every tongue is unique. If any of you guys have any tips on how to uh, clean these up, if you have, let me know. Because... This will be the first pair I attempt to really restore. Here's the other shoe. You can get a picture about, um, or an idea rather, how they look like now. Um, this is the right shoe. I think this one has a little bit more beat. My dad used to play um, basketball outside a lot with some of his coworkers, and so these were played outside most of the time. There's the back of this one. But yeah, OG sevens. I'm really glad I found these. I was actually looking for them, and my brother just popped out of nowhere and said, "Are these what you're looking for?" And I like, my heart jumped. I was so happy. I was so ecstatic that he found these. And and while I was looking for those, I found some off-brand Jordan shoe. It's a Team Jordan shoe. Uh, these are also my dad's. These are purchased from Nordstrom's, as you can see. They're size nine and a half. Um, there's a number down there. These are made in Taiwan. 
open these up. My dad, I think, wore these, it looks like, maybe once. Because there's no tissue in them. But these are pretty cool. Team Jordans. And they look like, you know, want to be, what is it? Like the Flint Playoff 13s. These are, uh, I don't know, made in Taiwan, size nine and a half. I got distracted there looking at the tongue. Um, there's the insole. Back says Team Jordan. It's got this nice premium leather that goes all along. The midsole is pretty cool. There's the bottom. Reminiscent of the carbon fiber hologram. There's a tag from Nordstrom's. You can see them Team Jordan marked down. They're on sale for $99.95 when you bought them. There's the outsole. It says Jordan on this is the left shoe. There's the hologram, and the hologram actually still has a plastic piece covering it. That's pretty cool. And this leather is really nice. It's a really good quality leather on here. Let's take a look at the right shoe. It also says Jordan, and does have the plastic still on there. Wow, I'm really surprised. And the Phylon midsole has these little nipples on there from the mold. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. There's the little nipple parts. I wish my dad had bigger feet like mine. I wish I wish these were my size. I would fucking wear these. These are really nice. You got this tumbled black leather toe box. Um, then you have the premium white leather. Still trying to carry the 13 theme. Team Jordan on the back again. Let's try it that way. Got the pull tab on the back. There's the tongue. You can't see really the tongue on this one because the laces are tied. The tongue says Jordan Performance Brand of Excellence. Then you got a jump man in a white circle. Another look, closer look at the underside. Carbon fiber. There's the hologram. Oh, and the hologram has a sticker on it. And these are double marked down. This says 6690 on it. Awesome. See if there's anything in the box. No receipt in here. Yeah, these are double marked down. You can see they crossed out the 99 on the box. So they're marked down from 99. That's pretty freaking cool. Another shot of the box, there's the top of it, and the back side of it. It's not going to focus. Focus. Focus, buddy. Or not. Boom, baby. Is that not hot or what? Alright, so yeah. Two gems. That I luckily found in storage. Pretty cool. I hope some of you guys have a storage unit where you can just find like little nice surprises like this. This is a really cool find. It's just too bad they weren't in my size. Team Jordans, wanna be 13s, and some OG 7s made in Korea. 
All right, guys, as usual, peace out, sneaker slug.